We are at the Mo Sports Speedway for the first race of Season 1 of the SCRL Tim Hortons Canadian Series. The 84 of Zachary Fitzwater, we lead us to the green flag, start beside him, is the Formula 1 champion, Nick Kennedy. Press the starting lineup. 33 cars, we have a couple part-timers in this field. The 12 of Bulldog 67, the 48 of Need HPK, and the 13 of Kaka Silverpaw. A 20 lap race around this half mile track. We also have a brand new rule this season. If there is a caution and the race ends under caution, we will do a green, white, checkered. So we will try to have every race end under green. So hopefully that's good for everybody. And without any further ado, Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. We have done a Canadian series before. We ran two races. Then the season was canceled. Nick Purcells won the first ever race at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. And Treadle won the second event at Cataluga. first race of the season. Zachary Fitzwater making his return to this league after a brief absence has decided to return and wouldn't you know it he's on the pole. Well leading us to the green. He didn't get the pole. This is at random. Pace cars in. And we are racing at most sport. Water leads him into turn number one. He desperately wants to lead that first lap. Down the back stretch for the first time. Into turn number three. Way wide in turn four. And Fitzwater will, in fact, lead the first lap. Into turn number one again. Down the back stretch, Nick Kennedy trying to make history. He's won three. Oh, caution is out. Looks like we got a spin. Oh, power up. Back stretch. Oh. We'll get back to the news in a minute. Oh, oh, shh. Portal 67, Troy McClure, K. Nareen. Oh, we got another wreck. This has got damage. We have more action under caution to do it under green. Zachary Fitzwater is our race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of the caution. Luke Rainey racing side by side with Derek Edison, a new driver. Rainey hits the wall, comes back across the track, hits Edison. The 90 got by. 66 slows down. And 66 got some damage. The 8 got a little tiny piece. These cars are basically just stacking, trying to avoid. So not too much going on right there. Then let's fast forward a little bit. See what happened to K. Nyreen. Oh, going 4 wide. Oh, that'll never work. K. Nyreen, boy, off 67. Whoa, look at the 0 3. Eric Wayne got some damage. Troy McClure got some damage. Now he moved further up ahead to the V4 car. Let's see. Kyle Metz race with Grayson Ace V2. Looks like Grayson took out the 42 and hard into the concrete wall. There's no safer barriers there. And, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. The Bulldog decides to hit Grayson HV2. So that's the cause of the first caution, as well as some extra wrecks we had. And we'll take you back to the restart. A half a lap away from restarting this race. 
no one is out. 0-4, Luke Rainey is one lap down. As I was going to mention before, the question came out, Nick Kennedy is looking to make history. He has won the last three races, and if he wins this race, he will have the record. Most in a row at four. And we're back to racing at most sport. Fitzwater leads him into turn number one. Luke Rainey wants his lap back. Oh, Fitzwater's sideswipe. Rainey. Fitzwater has to be careful here. We got a change from position for second as Chris Kyle takes it over. Chris Kyle. To go, oh, caution is out. Oh, a big pop. On the front stretch. And we are racing it back. And once again, Fitzwater. Oh! And Fitzwater maintains his race lead. Next time by, will be halfway. And we'll take a look at the second caution of the day. All right, so the nine of Jay Jefferson is trying to round Nita HPK. This is for eighth. Let's see, looks like Nita HPK comes down on Jay Jefferson. And Jefferson hard hit into the concrete wall. And, oh God, he comes back across the track in front of 47 Riley Spurley Tube. And basically, it's survival of the fittest from then on. Just trying to avoid the 8 gun involved, the 23, the 29, the 11, the 0 1, the 97, the 13, the 3, the 0 2, the 42. Wow, those were hard hits. And amazingly, the 9 is still going, despite being turned around like that. I'm telling you, man, when they wreck in this, this league, they wreck big time. If you didn't know that, you knew that in the Formula series. So let's go on board with Jay Jason. He's going up the track, and the ESP comes right back down. And hard hit. Then comes back across the track. Oh, the 90 just barely escaped another cosh, another wreck. And at this point, the 9 is just holding for dear life. But no one hits him, but he gets hit by the 8. And gets hit again by the 11. And they all just start stacking up back there. 47, Riley Spurley Tube. He is done. He could have won the Formula 1 championship, but... Had a mechanical problem, knocked him out of the championship hunt. It was the first car to hit the nine. And Riley's Burley Tube spins. Gets a little damage right there, and then gets hit by the eight. Then gets hit by the eleven. So Riley Spurley Tube's season is not getting off to a great start here at Moe Sports. Well, we'll get this cleaned up and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. Uh, 19, the 8, the 11, the 97, the 47, and the 3 are all out of the race. The 04 is still one lap down. Exactly. Oh, car's bumping the wall. That's all right. And the caution comes out again. Ooh, I don't know if they ended the race or not. I have to find out. If it did, we're going to have to have our first ever green, white, checkered. So we'll take a look at the caution right now. So here's the cause of the caution. The 60 of Jack Legacy racing with the 04 Luke Rainey and Betty Barrett. Looks like Rainey hits the 60. They lock bumpers. Oh my god. The 60 flipped over. Uh, wow. And he's going to flip over again. Oh, okay. A, a flip and a half flip. 
So it's the first race of the season, and we already have a car flipping over. Is that a sign of things to come? I hope not. And that was pretty much it. And we'll take it back to the restart now. Unfortunately, I was right. The race ended under caution. However, because this is after the green white checker hole, we will have a green white checker finish. So, the first 24 cars finished on the lead lap. The race messed up that. So, the first 24 were on the lead lap. And how they finished right here, as you see it, is how they will line up and the green white checkered. And Kaka Silver Paul and Luke Rainey, who are both actually one lap down when this race ended, they will be given the wave around and they will be placed on the lead lap and will compete in the green white checkered race. So, first through 26th will race in the final two laps of the race. So this race will be extended. Zachary Fitzwater led all 20 laps. And drivers 27th through 33 will be placed there after the green-white checker finish. So without any further ado, we will take you to the green-white checker. And the field is rolling off. We are going to have a two-lap shootout. This is green-white checker to determine who will win this race. Zachary Fitzwater led every single one of the 20 laps in, regular, in regulation. So he will lead us to the green, of course. The starting lineup is as how they finished. If we get a caution, the race will be over. We get one attempt at a green-white checkered. Zachary Fitzwater and Chris Kyle in the front row. Green-white checkered. Fitzwater leads him into turn number one. He got a battle for second. Here comes the 89 of Jesse Turner. If a caution comes out, the race will be over. Fitzwater pulls away into turn three. Into turn four. White flag, one lap to go. Can Fitzwater hang on? Into turn one for the final time. Turner trying to close in. Down the back stretch for the final time. Zachary Fitzwater. Off the final turn. Oh, he's in the wall. He's gonna barely beat Jesse Turner to the line. And I mean, he barely beat Jesse Turner to the line. What a comeback for Zachary Fitzwater. He's out doing other things. He comes back in his first race, and he dominates. Leads every single one of the 22 laps, and he wins. So here are your official results. Zachary Fitzwater makes his return to this league. He leads us to the green and leads every single one of the 22 laps, and wins. Jesse Turner comes oh so close, finishes second, third Chris Kyle, fourth Nick Kennedy, fifth John Van Rains, sixth Jay Barker, seventh Al Legacy, eighth Keenan Bush, ninth Need HBK, and tenth Cassie Waz. Rest of the race results, all 25 drivers of course, and drivers who finished 26 to 33 was, yeah, that's how they were in the regular relation. Victory lane time was Zachary Fitzwater. Here are your points. Stand-ins after the first race of the season at Mo Sport. Zachary Fitzwater, of course, with the win, is our points leader. He has a 15-point lead over Jesse Turner. Third is Chris Kyle, 20 points back. Fourth, Nick Kennedy, 25 points back. And fifth, Jonathan Reigns, 30 points back. Sixth is Jay Barker. Seventh, Al Legacy. Eighth, Keenan Bush. Ninth, Nita HVK. And tenth, Cassie was 11th, Kaka White Lion, 12th, Colin Jaberg, 13th, Jay Jefferson, 14th, Joe Jefferson, 15th, Will Oxy 7, 16th, Eric Wayne, 17th, Grayson Ace Vidu, 18th, Jack Legacy, 
19th, Tony Newman, and 20th, Troy McClure. 21st, Kyle Metz. 22nd, Dean Drinker. 23rd, Derek Edison. 24th, K. Noreen. 25th, Kaka Silverpaw. 26th, Luke Rainey. 27th, Betty, Betty Barrett. 28th, Lang Lang. 29th, A.J. Jones. 30th, Alexander Rowe. 31st, Evan Rudd. 32nd, Riley Spurlytube. And 33rd, Max Anderson. So that is it for the first race of the season. We will see you at the second race of the season at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park.